Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to discuss the Dad Rise Scholarship. And essentially this is a scholarship to go to Germany in the summer for three months or up to three months. And this is a scholarship meant for people who are doing their bachelor's degree program. So you should be somebody who has been two years into his or her bachelor's degree program and then you can apply for this dad rice scholarship now this scholarship is actually geographically limited it is open to ug students who are from the us the canada uk and ireland so these are the four countries which are addressed in this particular scholarship now essentially you can do a summer research internship at a top German University or Research Institute and this is funded by the German Federal Foreign Office. So essentially this is a German government scholarship which is being given out to you to increase the interaction between the countries mentioned here and Germany. Now students are mentored at a host university by a professor or by a PhD student and Essentially, this matching to the host is done by DAD itself. So unlike for many postdoctoral fellowships or even for PhD type of fellowships where you have to actually find the host professor, which is a very difficult task and a very time consuming task, here they are actually going to match you with the appropriate professor based on the interest in the field. So you need to specify what is your field. For example, it can be biology, chemistry, physics or science, engineering or a closely related field. So we are talking mostly of STEM fields here and they are going to find out a professor or a research guide who is a suitable person and match you to this person. Now this fellowship is typically from the time May 15 to July 15 every year. You get a monthly stipend of 934 euros and this is for a period of three months so each month you will get 934 euros if you stay there for the month now of course you can avail this fellowship for three months which is what i would recommend or you can use it for 10 weeks so that is the minimum amount of time you can use this fellowship for now beside this monthly stipend dad also provides you health insurance coverage it provides you accident insurance and liability insurance so essentially you do not have to bother about any cost even the cost of going to germany and coming back the airfare all these things are paid for by the dad rice fellowship now beside that there is going to be a three-day rice meeting and all the fellows here are going to congregate in Heidelberg, Germany and dad is paying you 160 euros for making arrangements for these visits. So you can get in one of the ice trains and travel here for your meeting at this point. Remember Heidelberg is a very well known place for publishers. So if you are on that track then this visit will always be good for you. Now. The host university does provide you with various things. It does provide you with the housing which you are going to stay in. So essentially most of the time, most of the universities have some kind of dorms or halls of residence and hostels. So they will provide you with a room here so you can stay here. They are also going to provide you with a person with whom you work with. So if you are going to one of the university of applied sciences they are going to match a phd student with you or a researcher with you so all this is going to be taken care of for you by the rice system itself now another good point about this fellowship is that german language is not necessary all the medium of instruction or the working language is going to be english so you can easily conduct yourself if you are from any of these countries, US, Canada, UK and Ireland. I assume you know English language though some of the French Canadians may have some problem here but I think they also know sufficient English to get by in Germany. Now of course I would say that if you want to interact more with the German social life and the 
ecosystem outside your research lab then it's a good idea to learn German though what I found during my stays in Germany is that most of the Germans have become so fluent in English especially the younger generation that they do not bother to actually talk to you in German anymore so essentially they are very happy to talk to you in the English language so this may be something you also experienced during your visit here because in general what's going to happen is that your English is likely going to be better than your German so they may just like to interact with you in the English language now 300 scholarships are given out each year so I would say this is a substantial number so you can take advantage of this and do remember that you should have completed two years into your bachelor's degree so essentially this is not for the students who are freshmen and so on two years is certainly a minimum amount of time by which you have accrued enough knowledge you have finished some of the basic filler courses the gatekeeper courses and so on and to some extent you have started figuring out some of the basic things in your field so of course I would suggest to you that you do take some courses which are relevant to your field so if you are in chemistry make sure that you have finished all the chemistry 101 and second level and third level courses because they may put you in a lab to work with some scientists and make sure that you at least know the periodic table similarly if you are a mechanical engineer make sure you know some of the basic things about solid mechanics fluid mechanics and heat transfer so these are some of the things you need to keep in mind though two year is suggested here as a minimum I personally think that slightly more than two maybe even better so maybe if you are going in your third year this may be quite optimal because at that point you would have enough expertise in your major field so keep that in mind that the more knowledge you have about your field the better off you are going to be able to profit from this particular fellowship so this was my take for today in my channel I spent a lot of time discussing PhD postdoc masters and so on so some of my younger viewers have complained that I should spend time some time addressing bachelor degree people so I'm going to do that more in my videos so I will end the video here and I will see you in a video sometime soon see you then